Welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I want to talk about one of my favourite diamond painting accessories and they are dinner placemats. So when I do these uh, videos um, I quite often get asked what is that stuff in the background and uh, what do you use it for? Uh, it's actually dinner placemats and I've been using them for quite a long time now um, I don't know how I actually came up with the idea but if you imagine uh, this was just a table uh, it is on a, a tilt that you can't really see in the camera but it is an angled table um, you may have when you start your diamond painting this one is the one that I've just finished but I thought I would use it to demonstrate so you might have the clear cover and then um, you fold it back to work on the area that you want to work on and it might tend to do this so what I would do is I would get a placemat and these are uh, they're actually made of plastic they feel like material they're bendy there's a little bit of weight in them and what I do is I use them to hold things down so if I folded that back as if I was working on it I would put the mat over the top and then uh, that stops the thing flipping forward um, if you are using a diamond painting that has the opaque cover uh, like this stuff and you're working on the diamond painting Maybe it's in strips like this. So you can see the table is on a slant, everything slides. So you've maybe got it covered like this. And this is all glued down. You peel back here and you're maybe going to work on this area here. So again, I would just put a placemat over the top. Now this is going to slide because I don't have anything else here. But what I would do is I'd have one that way, one this way. Once you start doing this, the weight from this one stops this one from sliding. And then uh, that would be covered and I would be, I would have this like that. So the next strip is just visible. Bring this down just above wherever I'm working. And then I'm just working on that area. So the whole table is clear and that allows me to put my tic tac boxes uh, my trays all, all the paraphernalia that i use um, can sit on top of this because if i don't do that and i try and sit on top of this stuff everything slides off down to the bottom of the table but the main reason for me is to keep everything neat and tidy. It gives me a bigger work area to keep all my stuff. And uh, when I'm finished, I would just fold this back and I would either slide this down. It depends on the size of the picture, but probably with this, what I would do is I would just put another one on the top. So it would be like this. So. When I'm not working on it, it is completely covered. It stops dust and hair, crumbs, fluff, whatever. Just an extra layer of protection. But the other thing is it's holding everything down. So if I take all of that back off again, the other thing that you might be using is release paper. So that's out of the way. So again, if you're using release paper, which is these rectangular sheets that people use, and you would have, the picture would be covered. All these would be glued down. Obviously they're not because this one is finished. But to give you an idea. So all of these would be like this. And another one here, 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 and you get the idea. 
Okay, I'll get another one, I'm not too into it. So this would all be covered up. And the way that you work the release paper is you just peel off one at a time. So this one would just leave that little section. In fact, you know, because it's slid down, that's why it looks like it fits, but it doesn't really. So you would have that small section there, for example. It's kind of hard to do because they're sliding on the drills, but these would be stuck to the glue. So you probably wouldn't want to start a piece that small, so you would peel this one off, and that's your work area. So then, once I've got decided what the work area is going to be, I then cover it up. Yeah, that was there. And again, all I've got exposed is the work area. So again, I can get my tic tac boxes and all my bits and pieces, um, and I can work. So I don't have things sliding down the table because these provide the friction to hold it. Um, I don't have all these little release sheets, sorry, sticking up and catching. Um, if I had this on the release paper, it would slide and it would catch them and bend them. So everything's covered, keeps everything flat. So that is how I use them. And I just chop and change them. Um, if I had, say, finished that area, I would uh, move the thing over. Cover the area that I've done. Obviously, you don't need the release paper because it's covered with drills. And then I would decide, right, okay, I'm going to work on this area. Again, these wouldn't move because they'd be stuck to glue. So then I've decided the next area, and I just put another one down. And basically work my way around the, the picture, just in sections like this. So I've always got all this workspace. I find it works really well, keeps everything neat, cl clean, tidy. And the other thing is if you have your key on a sheet of A4 paper, which is normally how you get them. So I've got a sheet of A4. The last thing you want is this paper to land on your glue. Um, it does not uh, work very well. If the paper touches the glue, it's going to tear the paper and then you have to try and get the paper off the glue. So the way that I get around it is I use cover minders and uh, another, another, she another sheet of this. And what I do is I put my key on one of these, put the little magnet at the back, that's it. And then uh, the other one, maybe here, lost the little magnet. But, um, but that's how got it. That's how I keep my key. Um, I keep it on one of these mats. So when I pick it up, I can just pick it up and place it wherever I want it. I don't have to worry about this getting knocked and touching the glue. So it's a really handy way um, if you've got. Um, these magnets, uh, cover minders, and the way they work is you get a picture or whatever um, on the front and there's a little magnet on the back, then you get another magnet, it goes underneath here, put this over, clicks on, stops the paper from moving. So very, very handy things, you get them all different types. Um, so a little, little teddy bear, again, two magnets, they all work the same way. So even maybe um, just one of these is a handy thing for keeping your key on. During the summer we had a gust of wind blow into the room and my wife's key flipped over and landed on the glue. So now we use these things to hold it down and we don't have to worry about it moving. So I use these all the time. Uh, you'll see them in the videos all the time in the background. Um, but I thought I'd show just how I work them. So I shuffle them around. You can obviously make them whatever size you need and wherever you need. So 
they work very well and when I'm finished I always just cover over and the table's nice and tidy so that's it diamond painting and covered minders and dinner table mats if that's what you want to call them so dinner place mats um, probably not the first thing you would think of as a diamond painting accessory but I find them extremely useful, very handy uh, to keep everything clean and flat and it provides me a workspace on a slanted table uh, so things don't slide down to the bottom. So I found them very, very useful. I thought I would do a little video to let people see how I use them. Uh, some people might find that they come in handy for them. So uh, that was it for today. Um, all I can say is if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more diamond painting related stuff, please uh, subscribe and tap the notification button. I have started doing YouTube lives with my wife on Saturday evenings between 8pm and 9pm Central European time. So if you're interested in joining us and having a bit of chat about diamond painting and pretty much anything else, we like to keep it all upbeat and everybody has a bit of fun. So uh, that's it, as I said, for today. Uh, in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands. Yeah.